Hi, so it's Boxing Day today um, and first of all I suppose to the parents who uh, like me have gone through Christmas um, without the babies who should be with them um, I just wanted to send a lot of love um, and just say you know well done for getting through Christmas the best way that you can. I also want to say a huge thank you to everybody um, I'd set a target, um, a hope for um, to reach 650 followers for Christmas Day and thanks to um, Neville and his challenge for me to um, increase to 1500 followers um, by New Year's Eve which is a huge target. Um, I can't quite believe that from the 650 I'd set for, um, I'd hoped for, for Christmas Day, that um, I'm now in a position to have 889 followers, which is just phenomenal. And honestly, I can't thank people enough. I can't thank people enough for their messages of kindness, their support. Um, also to people who've been so open and talked about their own losses you know their own their own babies that they've lost you know it's a brave thing for people to go openly on social media and um talk about this but it's something that's so very very important so the other thing i wanted to mention well there are a couple of things really um one is something i haven't really talked about is my play you you will probably if you're following me have seen um me advertising kind of dancing in the wings um my new play on twitter um and dancing in the wings has been gosh that it's been a tough one to write but it was something that i was encouraged to do um during the time that i received counseling from um amazing service um hope house hospice or otherwise known as tigobaith um and I had an amazing counsellor there, a fantastic counsellor. And as a writer, um, she'd seen some of the other work that I've done. And she said that, you know, one day when you're strong enough, it would be fantastic to be able to put your story on paper. It took a long time to reach that point and a lot of support as well. But finally, I created Dancing in the Wings. And Dancing in the Wings tells the story of a couple called Rachel and Jack Bennett and their story parallels mine so um they the story tells the whole picture it gives the whole picture very honestly um from infertility treatment through loss um and the journey out the other side for both the mum and dad for both Rachel and Jack um the struggles that they had to deal with um why have I put it on stage? You know, it, <laughs> the problem is that baby loss is something people really don't like talking about. And I completely understand that because who, at the end of the day, babies shouldn't die, you know, and in the big scheme of things, they shouldn't die. So who on earth wants to talk about it and who on earth wants to think about it? And I guess that's the reason why I have written it because one of the big things with when you lose a baby is that you do change you change as a person and the people around you quite often will struggle to know what to do and to know how to support you and to even know what to say um is such a such a big thing so i wrote this play to parallel my own story because I thought if I can, um, in the words of, of one of the Twitter followers on here, if I can open the window to this journey and help people understand a little bit better, um, then it might just reduce the fear and the isolation. Um, isolation is a huge issue with baby loss because people really aren't sure what to do with somebody who's been through this because it is just so traumatic and tragic and sad and what do you say because you can't make people feel better so I guess what I wanted to do was reduce the fear um, 
for people who are either working with patients or are friends or colleagues or employers to show that actually, you know, just because somebody goes through baby loss doesn't mean that they they stop being human. They, they just go through that grief and that change because of the trauma they've been through. So the problem with isolation, I guess, is that isolation in any situation quite often leads to mental health problems. Um, I was diagnosed with PTSD, um, anxiety and depression, and um, it's horrendous to go from somebody who is incredibly confident and uh, capable and positive to somebody who just turns into a very negative, very introverted person. Um, and so that that is my reason for writing this. Tickets are now on sale for this. Um, we're going to be doing a tour starting at the end of February at Theatre Cluid in Mould in North Wales. Um, that starts on the 27th of February and I will actually, I'll be there for most of the performances on the tour, but I'm actually going to be talking at the end of the, the opening night on Thursday, the 27th of February. Um, so it's at Theatre Cluid for three nights and then it moves over to t in Wrexham um, and it's there for two nights. We have a night then in Gallery Carnarvon over North West Wales and then we're finishing off this particular tour um, in Chester. Now the play is being produced by an amazing theatre company called Suitcase Theatre but they are a community theatre company and they are not-for-profit organisation. So we've had to do everything, I've had to do everything I can to try and find the funding to support with the tour because whilst all actors are unpaid within this and all the production team are unpaid with this and doing it voluntarily, um, there are theatre costs, there are technical costs associated with this and so at the moment we're just trying to raise the rest of the £3,000 um, to support the tour costs um, for this production. Um, so hence the reason um, why Neville Southall very kindly um, offered to do a fundraising um, evening which is happening in um which is happening in january so that's happening on the 23rd of january in liverpool at a club called oh me oh my and you may have seen tickets are on sale and this should be an absolutely fantastic night never wanted to call it a night for sam which i was really touched about um and it's actually the 23rd of january when it's happening is the anniversary of me giving birth to sam um so it would in effect be Sam's eighth birthday. Um, normally I get a balloons or make her a cake. This time we're actually having a whole celebration event for her um, with an amazing former goalkeeper and footballer. Um, but also we have music. Um, there's, there's a band, the Rustic Duo. They are providing music for the evening. And we also have um, Comedian as well. Um, and it's hosted by North Wales actor Cy Neal, um, who's also a really good friend and has helped me develop this production. Um, so that's the purpose behind it. If we don't raise the funds for it, we just can't complete the tour. Um, and my idea is I really, really want to get this to as many people as I possibly can. Um, in addition, I've been asked by people who maybe can't make the tour if I have a fundraising site. So I opened the fundraising site, um, gosh, a week ago. Um, so there is a link on my Twitter account for um, the fundraising if it's something you feel you would like to donate to just to get this story out there, get Sam's story out there and just raise awareness so that we can improve the support and understanding for other parents like me. Um, I think unless you can see the journey, it's very difficult to expect anybody to understand. Um, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. So tickets are now on sale for the production if you're interested in going to see it. 
Um, also, we have Neville Southall's A Night for Sam in Liverpool. Um, tickets on sale for that. And at the moment, we, we've had fairly low sales, so it would be fantastic to sell more tickets. Um, we needed to to um, sell 250 tickets and we're still a long way off that yet. So if you'd be interested in coming in and seeing Neville and um, question and answer session and a, an audience with him, um, then please do um, buy a ticket and come along. And I will be there and charities will be there. And as I say, there's music and there's food um, provided within that. Um, there's a bar there. Um, and it's a really, really good venue um, and we've got the comedian as well. So do, you know, have a think about that. It will be lovely to see you there. And then finally, the fundraising site. So if you feel you would just like to donate a small amount to help raise awareness of baby loss, that would be fantastic. So that's it from me today. Um, a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody who's followed me everybody who is giving me so many messages of support and um i've just got to get to neville's challenge now so i've i've got to beat this challenge so i've got to get to 1500 followers by new year's eve so please do keep retweeting and the more people who see this hopefully the more we can raise awareness thank you